Hello my friends and welcome to Keswick Chapel of the True. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day one of week 49. This week the way of Jesus is the way of journey. We'll be reading from Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 27 here in a moment. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and a pen and paper. We have questions for you and other passages for your biblical exploration and we'll be touching on some of these this week anyway. Our three theological affirmations are the way of salvation, the way of journey, and the way of responsibility. I hope you've grabbed your Bible. Beginning in verse 1, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short and could not see over the crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Lord, look, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times that amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. While they were listening to this, he went on to tell them a parable, because he was near Jerusalem, and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. He said, A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called ten of his servants and gave them ten minas. Put this money to work, he said, until I come back. But his subjects hated him and sent a delegation to him to say, after him to say, We don't want this man to be our king. He was made king, however, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money in order to find out what they had gained with it. The first one came and said, Sir, your mina has earned ten more. Well done, my good servant, his master replied. Because you have been trustworthy in a very small matter, take charge of ten cities. The second came and said, Sir, your mina has earned five more. His master answered, You take charge of five cities. Then another servant came and said, Sir, here is your mina. I have kept it laid away in a piece of cloth. I was afraid of you because you are a hard man. You take what you did not put in and reap what you did not sow. His master replied, I will judge you by your own words. You wicked servant, you knew, did you, that I am a hard man, taking what I did not put in and reaping what I did not sow. Why then didn't you put the money on deposit so that when I came back, I could have collected it with interest? Then he immediately, then he said to those standing by, Take his mina away from him and give it to the one who has ten minas. Sir, they said, he already has ten. He replied, I tell you that everyone who has more, ha everyone that has more will be given. But as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away from them. But those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and kill them in front of me. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. For your biblical exploration, I invite you to read John 14, 1 through 7. John 12, 44 through 50. John 4, 1 through 26, Matthew 4, 25, verses 14 through 30, and Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 18. And here are some questions for you to chew on this week as you dig into these passages and as we go through the chew. What is your personal salvation story? Where were you and what was your encounter with Jesus? 
How do you see your journey in life leading up to your salvation? What course in your Christian walk has your journey taken? Do you see the value in the experiences for your ministry in Christ's church and the kingdom of heaven? What responsibility do you have in the body of Christ? What are you doing about the calling Jesus has on your life? And are you responsible to Christ Jesus with your gifts, talents, and time? The way of Jesus is the way of journey, my friends. And this week we're asking the same question. Which way are we choosing? Are we choosing the way of Jesus? Or are we choosing our own way? I pray that as you consider these things and read this passage, that you will invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. That you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then you'll have the boldness and the courage of Christ to take the action that you're led to take. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.